In this video, we're going to be demonstrating the MyWay 3-beam balance. This is a standard triple-beam balance from MyWay, and we're Precision Weigh-In Balances. We're an authorized MyWay dealer. Um, when the triple-beam balance comes to you, delivered, there is a rubber grommet that needs to be removed before using the balance. So, underneath the weigh-in platform, there's this rubber grommet right here. We're going to remove it. And so this just comes out. This is for packing only. Um, so that the balance doesn't toggle up and down during transit. So we're going to discuss some of the features and how to set up the three beam balance. So the triple beam balance measures mass of an item, and mass is defined as a measurement of how much an object is pulled down by gravity. So we have a pan here, and there's three beams. Okay. The triple beam balance got its name because of the design of the three beams. So you'll notice in the rear, this beam goes in 10 gram graduation, so from 0 to 100 grams. The center beam goes from 0 to 500 grams. Now these pieces of metal here are called riders. So the rider goes across. And the front beam or the third beam goes from 0 to 10 grams and it's in uh, a tenth of a gram graduation. So when you're weighing an object we'll be adding all of these beams up. Um, the three beam balance comes, this is a stainless steel uh, six inch diameter platform and the balance underneath the pan itself has what we call a curl knob and this curl knob is for adjusting the balance so that the beam comes up or down. So at the end of the beam we have a hashtag here and when the beam is level it will be adjusted to the zero point. So we'll set this up in this demonstration and show you just how to do that. On the other end of the three beam balance, we have a fin here. This fin goes through two magnets to slow down the oscillation. So that's the basic three beam balance. The balance pivots on four agate bearings. So there's two on this side and two on the other side. And so, just think of like a seesaw. This is how the balance is working. You put a mass on one side and you adjust the riders to compensate for the weight. And when it balances, well, that's the weight. Um, in regards to the beam itself, you'll notice on the top there's some grooves here. So each beam, well, the two rear beams have grooves. The front does not. So there's a groove here, here, and here. So when I slide the rider, it needs to rest in the groove itself. So that's a nice design, so there's no question which weight or, or what the weight reading is. It has to slide right in there. The, um, the base is uh, designed, it's a, it's a cast metal base, and the three beam balance, unlike competitive brands on the market, they come standard with the three attachment weights. So these attachment weights, one would store them right underneath here, right in this little tray. So you get two 1,000 gram and one 500. Now these attachment weights do not actually weigh 1,000 grams. They're actually printed on the top that the 1,000 gram weighs 295. So the actual weight of this mass is 295 grams. And on the 500 gram weight, the actual weight is uh, 147.5. Now these attachment weights go on the end of the beam itself. So if we turn the balance, you'll notice that these attachment weights have like a, it's been milled out and the attachment weights just fit right on the very end of the beam. And so if you were to put the 1,000, you'd be increasing the weighing capacity by 1,000 grams. And then here's the second 1,000. You only can put 
two weights on. So even though you have three that it comes with, the most you can ever put on is two weights. And we'll show you in this video how to use these weights. So the first thing we want to do is we want to adjust the three beam balance so that it's level. So what we need to do is make sure that all the poises are all the way back to the left. And as the balance oscillates up and down, we're looking here on the right hand side where the hashtag is, and it's a little high right now. So we're going to use this curl knob, and if we curl it in, the beam will come down. And so there we have it, it's level. So that's how you use the adjustment curl knob to balance the three beam balance. So the hashtag at the very end here is lined up with a hashtag that's actually on the beam. Um, the way that curl knob works is if you turn it clockwise, the arm will end up going up higher. And if you turn it counterclockwise, the arm will go lower. So that's how we balance the uh, three beam balance. Now let's give some examples on how to actually weigh with the three beam. So I have here a large diamond, and if we put this right onto the weighing platform, the proper way of using the three beam balance is to slide the largest poise all the way across until the beam goes down. So when the beam goes down, we know that this diamond is less than 500 grams. So we want to slide it back one, and it's still too heavy. Slide it back to the 300 gram, and now the poise or the beam is up in the air. So we know that this is greater than 300 grams, but less than 400. Now we want to go to the beam all the way to the rear. We put it to 100. The beam is down. It's too heavy. So now we start sliding it back until the beam goes up. Up. At 40, it's too much. So at 30, now the beam is up. Now we want to just slide across the front poise. And really you're supposed to slide it all the way to the end and then stop bringing it back until that beam comes up. And that looks pretty good right there. Let's see, it's a little high, so the beam is high, so I want to add some more weight to it. And once it's level, the way we figure out what the weight is, so the two hash marks are meeting each other, we want to add the middle poise is 300, the rear poise is 30, and the front poise is 8.2. So we would have 338.2 grams. That's what that object weighs. So we'll give you an example of how to use the attachment weights. I have a large spice container and it's the same deal. You have all your poises all the way back. You want to slide your 500 gram poison it doesn't go down. So at that point we want to start using attachment weights. The way the attachment weight works is we'll put the 500, the, the 1000 gram and see if the beam comes down and it does. So 1000 is too heavy. We'll use the 500. We hang it right on there and you'll notice again there's a groove on the attachment weight. That groove right there goes towards the beam. And again, we're going to slide the 500 gram poise all the way until the beam goes down. And now we just start sliding it back. Okay, so now the beam's high here. So now we're going to use the 0 to 100. And it's the same deal. Just start pulling it back until the beam goes up. Okay, and now we'll just use the front. Oh, that's like here. We actually have to go to 290. And then we just start sliding the front poise.
Okay, and as it oscillates up and down, again the magnets that are inside this channel slows down the oscillation and you'll see the hash tags line up. So this time to determine the weight we have a 500 gram weight so it's 500 plus 200 plus 90 plus 9.1 so you'd have 5 and 2 is 7 90 9.1 so that's how you use the attachment weights for the three beam balance it's pretty easy um, so again basically when you're looking or shopping for a three beam balance you really want to see does the manufacturer give you the attachment weights because these can be pricey some manufacturers charge 50 to 60 to 70 dollars for attachment weights with my way they come with the three beam balance so there's no optional accessories and again very simple operation we see this uh, three beam uh, basically in the educational market uh, to give students the idea of what is mass so we are precision weigh-in balances you can visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com we always have the my way three beam this is our best selling mechanical balance thanks for watching this video